got a tooth. Look at this guy. He's just sitting there, minding his own business, not doing nothing. And he gets a sunshine on him. <laughs> I suck a video. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Was that good? Look at your stick. Test, test, siblings, siblings, test. All right, so here we go. There's a lady down at the other end of the beach with her dog, so we're backtracking here. It's still low tide, and we're still grabbing some. Oh, look at that, a double. We're still grabbing some. Just kind of filling up some of the smaller ones right now. Then we're going to go play... Then we're going to go play with the dog on the... I mean, there's a lot of little guys right here. Wouldn't mind getting another larger one. I did tether the monster because I don't want him to hurt that other dog. I don't think he will, but if you know him... Yeah, then you know. Oh, look at that guy. It's not bad. While we're walking here, for those of you who have never done this, it's just something to do, you know, while you're on the beach. Some people are really into it, and they know the different kinds of teeth. I, I don't... I do like looking for them and finding them, and obviously when you find a larger one, it's more rare, so you're more happy about it. 
But I will tell you that there are numerous ways to get fooled. Rocks that look like teeth. Leaves look like teeth. Broken shell fragments look like teeth. Broken glass looks like teeth. And you get excited when you see these things and you find out they're just trash. Also, sometimes you see a tooth in the water, like I saw that guy, and they get away. Those aren't teeth. Those are those are those are just leaves. Because you don't want to you don't want to like tell yourself that you lost the good one. How many how many of us that have been looking for these? You see that one, and it's it's a good size, you know, two three inches. And then you go to get it, and the tide takes it out, and now it's gone. And you can stand there for an hour, and you're never going to find it. It's gone. Also, we time of day here. We just passed low tide. See, that's I saw that, but I think I saw an actual tooth. Let's, hang on a second. Uh, we just passed the low tide, and now it's coming back. Damn. So, like I was just saying, I saw one there that looked like a tooth, and since it got away, it wasn't a tooth. It just no, it's impossible. So. It, it was a tooth. It was one of those red ones. But for some reason, I like the red ones. Oops. Looks like a tooth, but it's a rock. Alright, and it looks like they're staying down their side, so I'm going to let him loose. So, listen for the barking in three, two, one. Go. I thought that was a snake for a second. Gonna work my way back up to the cove where I found that big one. Oh, go right through. And then uh, work my way out. Yeah. It's just as loud here. He has been pretty chill for the most part today, though. Yes. Gotta say that. Here's another pro tip when traveling with Cisco is if you want to do something, you got to just do it and power through the barking. Because what happens is, you think you have willpower, but you do not. He has willpower. And if you throw that stick one time, that's all you're going to be doing until you leave. If you get here, first thing you do is throw the stick, then just forget the teeth. Because you aren't playing teeth. Oop. So rock rock